Hello, middle school Latin. Hopefully your quiz on chapter 21 went okay. And just a quick instruction here for chapter 22. You'll notice in chapter 22 that the chant is giving you both the chapter 21 chant, the imperfect, Ramarasarat, but also the present tense so that you can see the difference between sumes est, ramarasarat, sumes est sunt, ramasaratis arat. Notice how the endings are the same, mst, mst, mustisunt, mustisunt, but you have that er to indicate the imperfect I was. Your new vocabulary for this chapter are more adjectives, Defesis, defesa, defesum. Sordidus, sordida, sordidum. All right, so make sure you learn these. And you'll have a quiz on these next week. And then your last two chapters ago, chapter 20, we learned about the accusative case as a direct object, right? I throw the ball. The man loves the boy. Veer. Puerum amat. Uh, the man was loving the boy. Vir puerum amabat. Um, now we're going to talk about the accusative case in a different function, and that is uh, as a preposition. Prepositions are little words, right? Just think of the word preposition. They go in front of nouns to indicate a prepositional phrase. And the last two cases, accusative and ablative, are your cases for prepositions. Both of them are used, and today they want to introduce you to the accusative case in a prepositional phrase. So if you look at the, the phrase here on page 164, vir ad silvam ambulat. So this is saying the man walked to the forest ad silvam. What case is silvam? Can anybody tell us what case is silvam? It is an accusative case, right? And you'll notice that all of these ad silvam, ad insulam, ad aquam, they're all accusative case because the preposition ad, which means to, takes the accusative case. Again, some prepositions take ablative case, some prepositions take accusative case, some prepositions take both, actually. Um, all right, so that's what you need to be aware of, is that sometimes the accusative case is not the direct object, the noun that's receiving the action, but sometimes it is the object of a preposition. All right, so as you, for instance, as you look through the grammar on page 165, prepositions are important little uh, nouns, little words, excuse me. All right, so there's no translation here in this chapter. Um, however, I think it would be good Look what it says here on page 164. This is going to be your homework for the weekend is to translate these three sentences. Fill out page 165 as your worksheet and translate these sentences. And notice how they want you to label them subject noun. That's going to be your noun usually at the beginning of the sentence that's in the nominative case. Your verb's going to be at the end, right? Erat, navigat, ambulat. And then PR stands for preposition. OP stands for object of the preposition, as opposed to DO, direct object. Okay, so they want you to label these, fairly simple, and translate them. So that's what you guys can do for the rest of the class. And if you get it done, then you won't have any homework and you can turn it in on Tuesday.
Um, but then also be ready for a quiz next Friday from this chapter, these words here at the top of page 165. Just like you did today, you'll be given uh, these words on page 167 as a quiz. All right. Enjoy your weekend. God bless you.